going on everybody it's your boy tease mcgee man we are back here with another video i hope everybody out there is doing well taking care of themselves as usual man uh shovel i still i i think it's pronounced like shovel y'all said but i kind of forgot how y'all told me to pronounce it but y'all know i mean well man uh i'm gonna go with shovel shovel yeah shovel i don't want to say but it, it don't sound right but whatever uh the clincher Let's go ahead and check this one out, man. Shout out to Linda. If you're out there watching, I appreciate it. Um, thank you for your patience on this one. I uh, actually got to this a little quicker than I would have because I was kind of jumping around the list just a little bit. But um, And I know you got, you probably, you coming up on quite a few reactions now on the channel. So sometimes I like to give people that haven't had one done yet. But I kind of came across this and I love, I've been loving everything you've been requesting. So I was like, damn, let me just make this my last video for the day so if you're watching this i appreciate your support let's get it This one right here, bro. 
this one right here was the one. I ain't gonna look. Do they got the lyrics pulled up? This right here was the one. Let me read a few of these comments, man, real quick. Hold on. It is sad. The bands who actually have talent are so underrated, and those who make piece of shit music are the most popular. I love Shovel. Man, never really liked that Shovel. I hope I'm saying it right. Shovel is is really bass centered. It's hard to find bands like that. That's fire. This is my number one song when I work out. Who's still rocking with the song in 2021? He sings so patiently for some pretty angry words. It's beautiful. Holy shit, they tune their guitars lower than my income. <laughs> um, 235 on, on, wait, two, two minutes, 35 seconds on, wait, they worded that wrong. Oh no, two, two minutes, 35 seconds on gives me goosebumps. I don't think this band has one bad song. So good live and so much talent. This song right here, this might be my favorite song I've heard from them so far. Maybe, maybe. But we've done quite a few of the records, so I would have to go back and listen. But um, this track got up to a really aggressive start. It didn't do no buildup. It just kind of went in. Um, the drums and the guitar was probably the main pillars of this, of this song right here. They was super f just aggressive and just super thunderous on this song. I uh, liked his vocals as well. Like, at times, we kind of got, you know, the laid-back, sultry-type vocals. Then we kind of got the screams in there as well. Like, so I really enjoy this cadence on here. Um, uh, obviously, the message, I feel like it was a little bit deeper of a message on this one. Even though y'all know the first time y'all listen to it, it kind of go over your head a little bit. So I'm not going to really expound on that too much. But you've seen the little boy kind of going through... I don't know. Like at first he was kind of like, it felt like he was innocent, I guess, because he was like, 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 like catching, what was it like catching like crickets and, and grasshoppers and stuff like that. Then he like went into the house and start messing with the, uh, the painting of the lady that was in agony or pain. It looked like it was an angel. Like he was maybe, I don't know, maybe he was helping the angel though. It looked like he made it like maybe was pulling the thorn out of her or whatever was, you know, um, causing her pain. So I don't know if that was like, maybe like an analogy or like a metaphor for something. So, um, but this was dope, man. I like the contrast too in this. It didn't really, it didn't really get, um, it didn't really get too intimate or anything like that, but I just felt like he changed his tone of his voice so much throughout this that you you kind of had those moments that weren't weren't so aggressive, so I thought that was dope as well. But Linda, if you're watching this, I appreciate this one. This one was definitely fire, definitely well worth getting to this one tonight, man. This kind of motivated me to just, I don't know, do more videos and shit. So maybe this week I'll do, like, I'll try to do as many videos as I can without being super exhausted. But um, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. Um, you know, just since you've been rocking with the channel, been nothing but supportive so i appreciate it and listen man if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing leave a like on the video i don't know if i said subscribing or subscribing but leave a like on the video if you like the video man turn on my post notifications for future uploads shoot me an email teasemcgee at gmail.com we do song requests we do free and paid requests the paid requests come out a lot faster we do those through paypal for five bucks but you guys can send whatever you feel comfortable sending man i appreciate y'all love y'all you already know the vibes make sure you guys check out the merch Link to that will be in the description along with the patron as well for exclusive behind the scenes content, man. Just like that. I'm going to see you kids on the next video. I'm going to try to get on my grind, man. Um, I know my uploads have been spotty as hell, but trust me, I record when I know I got it. I don't just, y'all know I don't force content. I could easily record every day and give y'all half ass videos, but I just choose to kind of do it whenever I feel up to it. You know what I mean? So, um. But today was one of those days, so I appreciate everybody, man. I think we're going to go in tomorrow, too, though. I think we're going to go in tomorrow, too, because, I don't know, I feel good about listening to music tonight, so we'll see. But um, like I said, I appreciate everybody, man. Until the next video, I'm out. Peace.